the second round of the German DFB Cup competition, Bayern Munich welcomed Rot-Weiss Oberhausen to the Allianz Arena, and Louis van Gaal had decided to give several recently unused players the opportunity to play today, including Michael Renzing, Edson Brafeit, Andreas Ottel, Jose Ernesto Sosa and Breno. Only 40,000 fans in the stadium, a good atmosphere nevertheless. Maybe that had something to do with the coinciding Oktoberfest. First chance, surprisingly, for the guest team after 12 minutes. Ronnie Koenig against Brino. Michael Renzing denies this first good chance. This was to be an exception, no reason to worry for Louis van Gaal and the Bayern Munich fans as the Reds took control immediately. Jose Ernesto Sosa, his cross into the center and Mario Gomez misses the first good opportunity to score a beautiful cross by Sosa. Gomez with his first good chance after 24 minutes time. Six minutes later, it's Hamid Altintop. His shot against the outside of the net. For 20 minutes, Oberhausen were able to keep up. Then the Reds took over. 32 minutes played, Philipp Lahm, and all of a sudden, the 1-0 lead for the Munich Reds. Not a goal scored by Philipp Lahm, however, who, as you can see, was captain of Bayern Munich today. But an own goal by this man, by Daniel Embers. He deflected the ball past his own goalkeeper, Zuren Pearson. Of course, a nightmare start for Oberhausen. Their next chance after 40 minutes. And all of a sudden, Bayern Munich's defensive weakness is apparent again. Completely free on goal. Thomas Schlitter, what an opportunity for the underdogs to score the equaliser. Seconds later, however, Mario Gomez... Jose Ernesto Sosa denied. Then it's Philip Lam, double pass with Ribéry, Lam, and Mario Gomez is there to make it 2 0. Once more, Philip Lam with the assess from the right hand side. This time, goalkeeper Zern Pearson not looking too good. And of course, an easy task for Mario Gomez. 41 minutes played, 2 0. At the same time, the half time score. Absolutely deserved. Bayern Munich with a better team. Oberhausen unable to keep up with the speed and the ferocity of the Bayern Munich game. If anything, the Reds could have scored a goal or two more. Second half, first scene after 54 minutes. Franck Ribéry, dream cross into the center. And then what a disappointing finish by Mario Gomez. If anything, Bayern Munich were to blame for not using all their goal chances. Two minutes later, Altintop, weak pass. Mario Gomez not to blame for this missed opportunity. The pass by Altintop, simply not good enough. In this phase, Zeren Pearson, a stronghold for Oberhausen. Again, only two minutes later, 58 played. Edson Brafeit, his free kick denied by Oberhausen's goalkeeper. Still only 2-0. A respectable result for the underdogs who had only one chance in the second half. 60 minutes played, but the shot by Marcel Landers, harmless. Then, a moment many Bayern fans had waited for. Not the fact that Mario Gomez left the pitch, but Luca Toni's return after a lengthy injury break. Finally back in the Bayern squad. Seconds later, corner Bayern Munich, Sosa to Franck Ribéry, and he finds his friend Daniel Van Boyten. Van Boyten now with a goal each in the last three matches. Nice cross by Ribéry. Once more, Zürn Pearson, maybe not the strongest goalkeeper in this situation. After about 70 minutes, Franck Ribéry off the pitch. Thomas Müller on. 30 seconds later, Andreas Ottel's pass to Luca Toni. 
Roughly 38 seconds later is his pass to Thomas Müller and exactly 44 seconds after Müller came on the pitch, he scored his first goal of the day, much to the delight, of course, of the Bayern directors. 20 years old and he just turned 20. Still already so calm, so collected in front of goal. Thomas Müller. His 4-0 20 minutes before the end, of course, the final decision. Although Bayern Munich had one more goal to present their fans with. 86 minutes played, Sosa and Daniel van Boyden scores his second of the day, making it now four goals in the last three matches. An amazing statistic for Bayern Munich's central defender. Wolfgang Oberhausen in this second round cup match proved at no point to be a worthy opponent. Bayern Munich stroll to the next round and celebrate another success in recently very successful weeks. Daniel Van Boyden once more the match winner as Bayern Munich keep the hopes alive of winning the German DFB Cup competition.